for Paul Manafort and forgetful testimony from Jeff Sessions. Yeah, a, a busy political week, obviously, Newsweek, and Saturday Night Live all over it. They went down the list of topics, point by point, and in one scene, all the main players, look at this, they're in the shower together. Why? <laughs> look, look at Brian Stelter's face. I think he's trying to figure it out as well. CNN senior media correspondent and host of Reliable Sources. One Mr. Brian Stelter. Morning, okay, Brian. is that was that your initial reaction to that? Video? I don't know if I'm supposed to laugh or cry, Christy, but let's take a look at the clip. We can judge it for ourselves. You know, President Trump said in an interview airing this morning that as far as he knows, he's not under investigation. But obviously, the Robert Mueller probe uh, is the, the biggest overall story of the week. And here's how SNL had some fun with it. I wanted Mike to get his hands dirty, too, okay? Because if I go down, I'm taking a church lady with me, all right? <laughs> Mike, say cheese. There we go. If you say anything about this, Mike, I'll text that photo straight to Jesus. Uh, <laughs> well, Mr. President, can't you just pardon me? Unfortunately, it's not that simple, but we have a plan. A great plan. Isn't that right, Jeff? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm all yours, Jeff. I'm all yours. All right. Hi. Well, I'm wearing a bathing costume that I got from my favorite place, the 1890s. <laughs> Plus, uh, I thought we should all get used to wearing stripes. <laughs> that's, that's that's part of their uh, their 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 take on the the Manafort news, the indictments, the idea of the White House in crisis, with everybody trying to trying to keep quiet. You know, it's interesting. There's been talk from the White House about this investigation wrapping up soon, but we know the Manafort trial won't start at least till May. So SNL is going to have to come up with a lot of ways uh, to talk about this. Here's how Weekend Update weighed in. You know, marking the one year anniversary of Election Day. You know, that's on Wednesday. So here's mm -hmm. what Weekend Update said about that. Well, it's almost the one year anniversary of Donald Trump getting elected president and to celebrate, Robert Mueller threw him a surprise party. <laughs> After the indictment of former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort, who also played Shooter McGavin in Happy Gilmore, <laughs> it was reported that Manafort has three different U.S. passports and traveled to Mexico, China and Ecuador with a phone he registered using an alias. So I don't know what he's guilty of, but it's definitely not nothing. <laughs> three passports, a burner phone, and good intentions, except maybe Santa Claus. <laughs> there we go. We can update. Recapping the Manafort indictment, recapping the news from Mueller this week. Uh, I know it was all the way back on Monday, but when you look back at the last seven days, uh, the Russian investigation probably is the overarching biggest news story of the week. Uh, so like I said, SNL is going to have a lot to say in the weeks, maybe months, maybe years to come. They do it so cleverly. They do, as well. they do, yeah. But, but I, in many ways, the material almost writes itself some weeks. It yes, does, it but, does. It, but it does make you wonder, Brian, if, if there are people out there who, you can, you can push the line of respect, because at the end of, of the day, this is still a presidency. You're, you're absolutely right, and I think uh, Trump fans, his most loyal supporters, are probably not watching SNL in the first place, and if they are, they probably aren't watching when they see, you know, Alec Baldwin in the shower. Or they're good sports and they just take it as it is. All right, it's Brian Stelter. We appreciate it always. Thank you for waking up early for us here. Be sure to watch Brian a little bit later today, of course, here. On